This video shows how to install the Sun 2000 Smart PV Optimizer and Connect Cables. Before installation, unpack and make sure the items are complete. Prepare required cables or materials in advance. Check that the cables of optimizers correctly match that of PV modules. Two PV strings that are connected in parallel to the same MPPT circuit must have the same configurations. The power difference between PV strings must be less than or equal to 2 kilowatts for the M2, M5, ZH M5, MB0, ZH, and MB0 inverters. There is no restriction on the power difference between PV strings for the L1, LC0, LC0, ZH, JPL1, NHL2, BEM1, and M1 inverters, scenarios supported by the optimizers. Partial configurations are not allowed. Ensure reliable communication between inverters and optimizers. DC power cables and AC power cables must be routed in different troughs with a spacing of more than 10 centimeters. To minimize electromagnetic interference, the distance between the positive and negative cables of optimizers must be minimized. These are examples of incorrect cabling. Prepare extension cables of optimizers for Stobly MC4 connectors. Prepare the terminals for DC male connectors and DC female connectors in sequence, according to the instructions. Ensure sufficient space for heat dissipation. Let's start from an optimizer and connect in positive to PV positive. Connect in negative to PV negative. Connect out positive to the first optimizer to PV positive of the inverter using the extension cable. Connect out negative to out positive between each pair of adjacent optimizers and connect out negative of the last optimizer to PV negative of the inverter. After determining optimizer installation positions, remove the SN labels from optimizers. Attach the SN labels to the corresponding squares in the physical layout template. You are advised to name an optimizer using its PV string number and optimizer location. Choose an installation method based on site requirements. The following shows how to install an optimizer to the PV module frame with a bolt assembly. Insert the bolt assembly into the mounting hole on the PV module frame. Mount the optimizer and secure it. The following shows how to install an optimizer to the PV module frame with a frame mounting bracket. Install the frame mounting bracket to the PV module frame. Mount the optimizer and secure it. The following shows how to install an optimizer to the aluminum profile with a T-shaped bolt. Insert the T-shaped bolt into the mounting hole on the aluminum profile. Mount the optimizer and secure it. Connect out positive of the first optimizer to PV positive of the inverter using the extension cable. Connect out negative of the first optimizer to out positive of the second optimizer. Connect out negative of the second optimizer to out positive of the next optimizer. Arrange optimizer cables. Connect the cable between a PV module and an optimizer. Ensure that the connectors are securely connected. Connect the cable between a PV module and an optimizer. Ensure that the connectors are securely connected. Check the resistance of a single optimizer using the multimeter. If the measured resistance value ranges from 0.9 kilo ohm to 1.1 kilo ohms, the optimizer is normal. If the multimeter is reversely connected, the measured resistance value is less than the value when the multimeter is connected correctly. Secure PV modules.
Install mid clamps between PV modules. Install other optimizers and cables in the same way. Measure the PV string resistance using the multimeter. Set the multimeter to the minimum range that meets the measurement requirements. Connect optimizers to the inverter.